Wild Wild Wiggity Wild Blow Breadcrumbs. Alright, um, I've got a different type of video for you guys today. It's kind of like a build video, just going over a few things that I, I want to run through you guys. Sort of a chill video. But obviously you know what these are guys. These are like a, the very generic sort of bridges in arc that, that people do. You know, two pillars and then you've got the railing there and there's your bridge, you know. Everybody pretty much does it. I, I did it when I first started Ark and, and that's it and everybody that's how everybody thinks. This video is about telling you guys or talking to you about thinking outside the box. So like here's how I do my bridges. Now I've only just realised this second that maybe I should have painted these so I'm gonna do like a boom, there you go, see that? Magic. Uh, anyway, yeah, so these these are the sort of like platforms or bridges that I sort of build. And just just using these as, as railings instead it, it looks completely different something new now so if you didn't know what they were that's kind of like a hint they're basically just the, the big dino floor gates the trapdoor gates basically and all I've done is I've put them one lower uh, below just like the frame and then I've put the, the door in there and obviously I've opened them and now because they're open obviously it gives the effect that they're more like railings so like think outside the box guys like this for instance like a te tech don't really go with anything else, yeah? But I've got a tech gate in there behind the adobe wall. And even though it's adobe, it still looks good with the tech gate. You know what I mean? Because you can't actually see the gate, you just see the door. And, and obviously that still looks nice. You've got to think outside the box, is what I'm saying, guys. For instance, look at my modern executive desk that man's got going down like that. With my trophy. That's the trophy for being the best ARC YouTuber. And there's, there's, my, there's my tray for me blunt. And then look at look, I got me look at me throne. Like you guys, that right there looks like a modern desk. It's actually just a grill lowered into the floor a little bit, one below. Uh, and you know what I mean? And it's got an artifact uh, underneath artifact pedestal so I can put the, the thing on there so it looks nice. And then like my throne that I've got, it's <laughs> it turns on and it lights up. Do you know what I'm saying? And all that I've used for it basically is a transmitter, I've got the tech bed in there at the back, a trough and then there's just a small chair in the trough. Uh, these walls for instance, all that is is a beer barrel that I've got poking out. It just adds something new that you haven't seen in arc before. It corners like that, adding that corner just looks a little bit nicer. These for instance, they're preserving bins and I've used the back of them for a nice wooden sort of palanin. Obviously I've built this really quickly as well, just as an example. This isn't actually somewhere I've got, this is an example that I've built. Um, even the artifacts there, I've got ramps there that cover the artifact pedestal so it looks like they're just floating. Uh, just edges, making your edges look nice and neat. This for instance, doing that makes it look like something completely different and you ain't seen that in art before. All that they are is their fireplaces and I've used the back of them into the wall sticking out obviously you've got green ass windows there and it looks something new you haven't seen that on a base before um, so here's the back so you can actually see how, how low they are and whatever and even stagger your walls rather than just do the same old base that's always square make it look nice if you're like me and you play this game as much as me uh, you're in your base all the time. If you're on PVE, you've got time to make it nice. Um, another thing I do, um, I like hiding things. I like like hidden places in my base and stuff so I can stash stuff on when I'm playing PvP. you got to have like a, a secret hidden stash. So we're going to try to jump this and I, I fail it. And then I'm going to try to jump again and, and I fail it again because I'm just crap. So we're going to cut to me just already on there. Like you can jump it but I've said it's wrong with me. Like, and obviously like, yeah, like these look nice, don't it? But what's this shit? Shazam! You see that? I'm on some David Blaine trapdoor smoke and mirror shit there. Obviously in here you'd have your vaults with your best stuff. This is obviously if it was PvP. And and build secret places that you can get to in your base that you can disguise so they don't realise that there's anything there. If this was PvP and someone came in here, they'd be rummaging around in your smithy, rummaging around in your fab. They're not gonna think that there's some there's a like a secret entrance there. And like just be smart and all I've done there is that whole back is basically covered with uh, trophy wall mounts and then one of the walls is obviously just a normal wooden door but you can overlap it and it covers it and you can't see through it and it's like a secret place and you can hide all your best shit basically anyway hopefully extinctions out tomorrow if it is I'll be getting a server once I've got settled with my friends and admin and that um, I'm gonna let you guys join if, if you want to join the server anyway I hope you like the content if you did like the content uh, subscribe if you want to see some more uh, from me this is rumor video because fucking whatever um, and arc for you good job extinction is probably not coming out in time anyway All right peace out fuckos